gesture of solidarity to support the holy places and the needs of the confreres in the land of Jesus, Cardinal Leonardo Sandri, prefect of the Congregation for the Oriental Church, has asked for it just a few days from the Pro Terra Sancta collection, the collection of offerings that takes place in all the churches of the world for the Christians of the Middle East. It is usually held on Good Friday, but this year, due to the COVID emergency, it has been moved to September the 13th. Abbiamo dovuto cambiare anche il giorno della colletta per la Terra Santa, ordinata da Paolo VI e promossa da tutti i pontefici. We had to postpone the day of the Pro Terra Sancta collection ordered by Paul VI and promoted by all his successors, including Pope Francis. We thought we could have done this collection with more serenity, perhaps we were too optimistic, in the month of September on the Feast of the Exaltation of the Cross, September the 13th. Shortly afterwards, Mary of Sorrows is also celebrated. So this closeness to the Cross of Christ seemed to us a date, which the Pope then approved, very significant, because it brought us back, obviously not to Good Friday, which would be the day on which the collection is usually held, but to the Cross of Christ, to his exaltation, to the finding of the relics of the Cross of Christ. Della coletta, ma alla croce di Cristo. The prefect of the Congregation for the Oriental Churches, who has visited the Holy Land several times in recent years, has not failed to mention the very special mission of the Franciscan friars. For over 800 years, they have been committed to guarding the holy places on behalf of the Catholic Church, an important contribution to the maintenance of the sanctuaries but also of the many schools, parishes, social activities managed by the custody of the Holy Land arrives every year from the Coletta. The Holy Land is holy especially because Jesus set foot in it. The Franciscans of the custody of the Holy Land are those who care for the places where Jesus placed his feet and hands. We must all thank them because they are not only there, but they are missionaries towards all of us who arrive at the holy places and receive their welcome. We receive from them the word that explains the mystery of Jesus in the concrete place where he lived, where he was. Certainly the call to donate falls this year in a very special situation, with the world busy facing the consequences of the coronavirus pandemic. However, it is Cardinal Sandri himself who points out that in a time when it is difficult to travel, a pilgrimage of generosity can arise. Di questo terribile flagello non usciremo se non con la solidarietà. We will not come out of this terrible scourge except with solidarity. That is why the generosity of the poor, the humble, the rich, of all who give what they can for the survival of the holy places of Jesus and therefore for the living presence of Jesus is so important. We have all been able to live his presence during our physical pilgrimage to the Holy Land. Today, due to these circumstances, it becomes a pilgrimage of prayer, spirit, invocation and generosity to contribute to the support of all the holy places and all the needs of our confreres in the land of Jesus. Dei nostri confratelli della terra di Gesù.